Welcome to the Camo Monster. In the last video, we have learned about the calculation of theoretical number of stages based on the Lewis Matheson method. But the disadvantage of the Lewis Matheson method was because it involves tabulation of tedious equations, parameters in a large amount and you have to continue your iterations until you achieve your feed composition or you achieve your distillate composition as your end. But sometimes in the cases you can face a situation where you can't even find your feed composition or if you find you can't find it accurately because sometimes you have 60 percent in feed and there comes out to be 62, 63 and you can't go anywhere like that you are stuck or freeze at that situation. Same can be happen at the distillate end. So for that case most of the students follow the shortcut design method if they knew about it. So based on the calculation of number of stages on the shortcut method first of all you have to calculate the minimum number of stages based on the total reflux ratio you know a reflux is defined as a st cut on the condenser condensate or product like you have a uh, hundred mole going to the condenser from that based on the reflux ratio some amount is going back to the column and some is uh, collected as a distillate product so at the total reflux ratio there will be no overhead product and all the condensate will return to the column so at the total reflux you have minimum number of stages because there will be no overhead product and it, it's like the total recycle so at the total recycle you know you need to put the minimum energy because if 90% is unreacted again it is moving that column it will become 80 again it is moving it will become 70 so at without increasing the stages at the minimum stages you can achieve your desired final yield of maybe it is reaction product it is separation product or whatever equipment you are using the recycle actually increases the amount with less power consumed so using this formula n minimum plus one is equal to log remember the difference between these logs these are the log of 10 bases sometimes the student got errors based on the use of natural log here so remember it is log 10 not the natural log here is x light key over x heavy key in distillate d for distillate multiply x heavy key over x light key in the bottom product divided by log alpha light key over alpha heavy key average why it is written average however each component have its fixed alpha but not at every temperature and pressure and you know there will be different temperature and pressure at the reboiler different temperature and pressure at the end and there can be different temperature and pressure inside the column so the num for the calculation of the number of stages based on single value you have to take the average of all so the average is most commonly is based on the average of alpha in the bottom and average of alpha of components like alpha light key in the top or bottom alpha heavy key top and bottom and ratio will be averaged so using this formula you can calculate the minimum number of stages actually it is plus one so it will be minus out there in the second in the right part of the equation so minimum number of stages here like here comes out to be 5.837 Again, you have to calculate the minimum reflux ratio using the Underwood method because the Colburn method is complex and if anyone is interested because it is not that much complex if someone teaches it in easy way. So it depends on the teacher or tutor who is teaching the subject or the topic that it is easy or difficult. So the minimum reflux ratio can be found by using Underwood method like uh, discussed in the last video like same you have to calculate the minimum reflux ratio and after that based on the ratios or based or based on the literature 
the ratios based on the literature that is defined in the last video you can calculate the actual reflux ratio after calculating the actual reflux ratio now you have to move to the theoretical number of stages calculation like in this shortcut method you have to use the Gilliland correlation which relates the minimum number of stages with minimum reflux ratio to find theoretical number of players this means you do not have to iterate to find the composition at every stage and to uh, to end where your distillate product will be achieved you can only use this formula and whatever comes from it n will be your final answer but most most common the literature say or the authors of the book say the Lewis Matheson is more accurate but you can use the shortcut method also here everything is now like n minimum minimum number of stages here phi uh, you can say it anything it is a constant like w you can see here it is equal to the r minus r minimum over r plus one r minimum is noun r is also noun and there is only one unknown and theoretical number of players so from using this formula you can calculate the theoretical number of players which in this case comes out to be 12.37 now now you have i have told in last video you can you have to calculate the actual number of players based on theoretical number of players by using some kind of efficiency but in this case uh, we have come up with a formula of calculating the efficiency you do not have to assume efficiency like 75 80 here is a formula that can be used to calculate the efficiency based on your viscosity of the feed it is viscosity of the feed at average column temperature average column temperature this means like I have told in last video the temperature can differ in every plate sometimes or it can differ at the top and bottom like most of the times it differ at top and bottom so you have to find the viscosity of feed at average column temperature most of the time it is taken at the feed point only so by using this formula 17 minus 61.6 log u mu f average you can calculate the efficiency like here it comes out to be 70.03 percent the actual number of stages will be 12.37 divided by 0 0.7 and it comes out to be 17.67 now this equation actually do not tell the feed plate location like the Lewis Matheson method which actually sh also shows the composition directly so you can say oh this is accurate solution but you can use you can still use an other relation which can calculate the location of feed in the shortcut method like that is a Kirk Bride method that is used to determine the number of trays above and below the feed point the relation is log nd over nb is equal to 0 0.206 log b over d x feed light key over x feed heavy key x lk light key b in bottom x heavy key in distillate square from this equation you can find out the nd over nb nd shows the number of players above the feed plate and distillate and bottom shows the number of feed number of players below the feed plate so it shows a cut between the top and bottom plates it shows actually shows the cut so 0 0.223 actually means the bottom plates are far greater because the ratio is smaller this means the distillate products are only the 10 raised to the power 0 0.23328 times the bottom plates the number of bottom plates so using this relation feed straight is equal to log nd over nd multiply actual number of stages you can calculate the number of plates above the feed ray this relation i have set you can actually understand it if you uh, read it properly or understand it, pro it properly by yourself the number of plates above the feed ray like in this case calculated to be 4.122 means there are 4.122 plates are above the feed plate but total plates are say 17.67 so the number of plates below the feed plate will be 17.67 minus 4.122 that will be equal to some like 13.5 etc like this so this is all for the 
calculation of number of plates based on the shortcut method if you do not want to use the long tabulations of Lewis Matheson. But using the Excel, that is far more easy, the Lewis Matheson, because the alpha are fixed and the y and x are only changed. But you can find it tedious if you have some certain kind of complexity, like I have told before, you have not achieved your feed composition or this delayed composition anywhere. So you can use this shortcut method easily. So stay blessed, stay happy, and stay with us. Thank you.